Since we thwarted their invasion, we haven't seen any major offensive operation by the enemy for several weeks. Almost like we're at peace again, eh, people? Anyway, let's start the briefing. Yuktobanian combat operations have been dormant since their failed large-scale invasion and the loss of their underwater carrier, Synfaxi. However, there is still concern over a possible infiltration by small-scale forces from the ground and the air. You will split into flights of two and carry out patrols in the area from Akerson Hill to the northern coastline. The airspace above the grain fields extending around Akerson is covered by our Ocean AA system. The system automatically fires missiles at any hostile aircraft it detects. Patrol the northern coastline of Akerson Hill, which is out of our AA system's range. Formation then? War Dog Launch. That stupid geezer base commander just won't give us a break, will he? He's relying on us, First Lieutenant Chopper. Hey, congratulations on your promotion, by the way. <laughs> That's weird. I don't feel any better. Hey, you two. What's your current position? 300 miles south of you. Roger. Damaged, but the damage is light. Transmitting aircraft. State your assignment and current status. <sighs> Finally, a response. This is the Ocean Air Force transport plane Mother Goose One. We're flying to the neutral country of North. We have the transmitter set to minimum power. Please come in closer so we can hear. Ah, I think this is you on our radar. Can you see us? We'd like you to guide us to a safe passage corridor through the AA defenses. We're on a top secret mission and are not transmitting a valid friendly ID signal to the ground-based automatic defense systems. As a result, a friendly surface-to-air missile was mistakenly fired at us. We narrowly avoided a direct hit, but our radar system was destroyed and we can't fly a safe path through the AA system. Guide the transport plane through the AA system's radar coverage and take it to Akerson Hill. The transport is on a top secret mission, so its ID signal has not been registered in the AA system's database. As a result, if the transport is picked up by the AA system, it may be shot down by our own missile fire. The engagement zone of this ground-based AA system is displayed on your radar. Due to combat damage, the transport's radar system is inoperable and its maneuverability restricted. Guide the plane so it stays out of the AA system's engagement zone. Uh, the Air Defense Command just received multiple radar hits on an enemy formation closing on your position. First bad guys we've seen crossing the pond for a while. Warning alarms are going off like mad, but we're the only ones near enough to intercept them in time. Hold on, baby, we're coming to your rescue. Understood. I'm counting on you two. Please, can you see the transport craft? Roger. Keep your eyes on it. Okay, I've got him on my radar. Just like the intelligence said. The radio's picking up the enemy's voice. These guys sound as beautiful as Thunderhead. Sweet as a rose, I tell you. Don't let up just because it's a transport plane. Take out this guy, they won't just give us a medal, they'll build a statue in our honor. This cargo certainly worth that much. Is that the enemy speaking? What are these guys talking about? Don't worry about that. We need your escort. We're completely defenseless. Well now, this 
This is turning out to be a weird little race against the enemy. Mother Goose won. Any problems on your end? No problems. We'd like to get out of this airspace ASAP. Please fly a course that avoids the EE system.
escorts. Chopper engaging. Archer engaging. Don't tell me they found out about our operation. Nah, Intel probably messed up. Don't worry about it. Missile hit. They're like hyenas, going after a helpless transport plane. You ever heard of honor guys? Look at that! Direct hit! Chopper, Grant, cover me. Okay, I'm protecting this transport plane no matter what. It just won't stop. Mr. Cargo? Uh, yeah, I guess. That was a pretty smooth ride, actually. Mr. Cargo, I've got a question I'd like to ask you. What is it? The Bird of Peace. Did you really have to use that beautiful white bird for this war? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanted to see your... your Bridge of Peace span into outer space. It's still possible. Thanks to the bird, we're on even terms now. I'm trying to get to North Point, because I believe we have a chance. To hold talks in neutral territory. 
Right. Communication is vital. So I can still believe in you, then. I don't want to see any more young men or women lose their lives. Me neither. Uh-oh. I'm out of fuel. This is the Ocean Air Force 8492nd Squadron. We observed the emergency landing on our radar. Can you see us? You can leave the rest to us. We'll provide support until the transport plane's crew is rescued. Roger, 8492nd. Take care of them for us. Sure thing. We've received a sitrep from Central Command. The crew on board the transport plane you encountered during your patrol has been rescued by the 8492nd Squadron. That is currently all the information we have. After my article, The Four Wings of Sand Island, was published to wide acclaim, I grew bolder. Here was a profile view of the base commander, the emperor of this base. Don't. He's in a bad mood today. If he catches you, he'll have your head. What happened? The Ark Bird. Huh? The white bird in outer space, with Yuktabania outclassing us in firepower. It was the President's one trump card in the peace negotiations. And now, it's fallen right out of our hands. So you're saying we don't know how long the war will drag on? The Ark Bird. A superweapon capable of attacking from space, far beyond the reach of the enemy. Its power generator was destroyed by explosives planted inside a supply shipment launched from Earth. Once again, the balance of power had tipped toward Yuktabania.